Hey, I'm Siming. Today I'm gonna show you how to print the equipment QR code generated by EcoStructure Power Commission software and make sure that everyone can set up and use the printer with prefabricated QR code sticker hassle-free. So let's get to it. Before we get started, make sure you have everything you need to follow along. EcoStructure Power Commission software installed on your laptop. A ready QR code printer, BBP12 the prefabricated label and the color ribbon that is designated for this type of label and a USB cable that you can find inside the printer case to connect the printer to your laptop. Well, let's now get started by setting things up. There are four major steps. Set up the printer, install the printer driver, create a new label template in your printer settings, use EcoStructure Power Commission to generate a QR code and print it on the prefabricated label. The first three steps are needed for first time use only. You don't need to repeat them once the printer is set up. You have received the, the new Brady printer BBP12 with a set of consumables and here are the instructions to install the labels and remotes. So, at first you have to open the printer with the two grey buttons, you lift until you uh, reach the locking position. After you take the roll of labels, you release and present inside the printer. After that, you just insert in the guides and turn the green button until the labels are supported. After that, you have to take uh, the ribbon and for that you have to open the window. At first, you take the empty core, which is provided with the printer in the box, and you just install in the locking systems. And just after you take the full ribbon, you open You insert inside the, the machine, you unwind, lift on the printhead and stick in the empty core. Let's turn until you have a black ribbon under the printhead. Close the window, release the green button and lock the printer pushing on the two corners. Next, you need to install the driver. To do this, click the link below to access the download page. Or you can search for the BBP12 printer driver on Google. Install the driver. Once installation is complete, we are going to go ahead and open the computer settings. First, find printers and scanners. Next, find Ready BBP12 in the list of printers. Click Manage. Go to Printing Preferences. Inside Page Setup, click New to create a new template. Enter the size of the prefabricated label. 70 mm width and 90 mm height. And don't worry if the size is converted to inches. Click OK to save the new template and then we are done. OK, we made sure we had everything we needed. We configured the printer settings. We connected the printer to your laptop through the USB cable. And now it's time to test. First of all, you need to open EcoStructure Power Commission from your laptop. Then select Create a new product. Next, you need to fill out all the basic product information. At the bottom of the product page, click the plus button to create a new switchboard. Choose the relevant switchboard standard and switchboard type in the drop-down list. 
Then simply click Auto Generate for the software to generate a random serial number for you. Or if you have already created a serial number of your own for this switchboard, simply enter this unique serial number. Click Download. Choose Prefabricated Sticker. The QR code will be downloaded right away. Open this file and click Print. Choose the BBB12 printer and the template you created previously. And there we have it. The QR code is printed in the blank area of the prefabricated label. You can now stick this label onto your equipment. So next time when you flash the QR code with your phone, it will take you directly to the digital logbook of the switchboard. Here is some useful information for you to buy the printers and the prefabricated sticker. Well, don't hesitate to contact the Schneider Electric or Brady sales representative for more information. Hope this will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.